Welcome back to Don't Panic Gaming. I'm your boy Panic. Today we're going to continue our guide on recreational buildings on the fifth and sixth tiers in the tech tree. Let's go. So next we're going to be taking a look at recreational buildings from the fifth and sixth tiers in the tech tree. Starting with the arcade cabinet. It can be found here. It uses a whopping 1200 kilowatts of power and provides plus two morale. And just in case you're wondering what game they're playing, it's Comic Kablamo for up to two players. Go ahead and set up in the world. Next up in the tech tree is the espresso machine. The fifth tier item we found here. It uses 480 watts of power, requires 1,000 grams of water per use, and uses 1,000 grams of a pinch of pepper nut per use. Provides plus four morale and plus one athletics. Connected with power here, provides some water. One of your dupes come along and add a pinch of pepper net. Now let's take a look at the soda fountain. It's also a fifth tier item, which can be found here in the tech tree. It uses 480 watts of power, uses 5 kilograms of water per use, requires 1,000 grams of carbon dioxide, provides plus 4 morale, and plus 1 science. Going to connect this to some power, give us some water. Now, the best way to provide it with carbon dioxide is to use the canister filler. Let's drop one in the world here. Now that your canister's filled up, let's wait for one of your lovely duplicates to come fill up the soda fountain. That's it. Wait for the magic to happen. Now the next building we're gonna take a look at is the vertical wind tunnel. It can be found here in the tech tree and is a fifth tier item. It uses 1200 kilowatts of power and displaces 3000 grams of gas per second. It provides plus five morale. Well, this is a very big building, so you're gonna need some space when you place it. And the orange part on the display is where the floor is. Drop it on here like this. Now, according to the description, it says, to properly function, the area under this building must be left vacant. However, even when you place it, it still tends to work, so it must be a bug in place. In any case, let's go ahead and give it some power. Now, as you can see, the bomb is filled in, but it's still working. Now let's go ahead and dig this out. Just to see what happens. Now the next wreck building is going to be the sauna. The fifth tier item can be found here in the tech tree. Now this building is going to take a little setup. It only requires 60 watts of power, requires 25 kilograms of steam. 
provides plus two morale as a gas intake pipe and a liquid output pipe. Button set up in the world like so. Provide with some power. Now the best way I found to provide steam for this is to steal from a cool steam vent. You go ahead and set up like so. Surround your cool steam vent with insulated tile and make your gas pump out of steel so it doesn't break. And going to want to make sure that you use insulated pipe so that your steam doesn't lose temperature. Once you get your pipes routed, go ahead and connect it to your sauna like so. And lastly, you're going to want an output pipe for the water. The temperature of the water is going to be the same as the steam that comes in, so be careful where you send this. Make sure you use an insulated pipe. Once your sauna finishes filling up with steam, one of your dupes will come along and use it. Now the final recreational building is going to be a beach chair. The sixth tier item can be found here in the tech tree. Now this one's very simple to set up. You simply place it in the recreation room. It has two different modes. A bright light mode gives you plus eight morale and a dim light mode, which gives you plus five morale. So it's set up in the world like so. I have three different options. You have the lamp, the sitting light, and the sun lamp. Use the lamp, sit it next to the beast chair like so. Use the ceiling light, just place it above it like this. But the best option is going to be the sun lamp. Now this uses 960 watts of power, provides 40,000 lux of brightness. Go ahead and sit next to the beast chair like so. Provide with some power. And enjoy the sunshine. So that wraps up this guide on how to use recreational buildings. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. Thanks.